Welcome back to another video video if you're just coming across the channel for the very first time you're welcome my name is favor opera and allow me to entertain you on this channel okay please do also hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell by the side just so you get alerted anytime I post new videos so you don't miss out on the videos at all especially this my travel vlog series okay so welcome guys officially to Bene Republic, your girl is in Bene Republic. If you watch my previous video, you already know how we arrived to this country. Like I dropped every detail, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything I did in the first 24 hours in my stay in this country, where I visited and what I ate, and every single detail. So stay tuned. Firstly, when you get to a new country, the first thing you want to do is to stay connected. After you are being searched and you've passed the custom, just go straight to where they sell SIM card and get a SIM card, so you will communicate with your friends and family in your home country okay yes they also have mtm sim card here and i bought the sim card for 1000 naira and you can also buy data if you want to 1200 naira for one gig i guess and yes next on after being connected you need to change money you need to change your naira to the currency the country's currency that's sefa and guys this was where i was disappointed nigeria's money is just devaluing i don't even know why but see the rate at which i converted 30 thousand naira 30 thousand naira equals 24,900 naira that was to say that 1000 naira is equal to 830 sefa he even gave us at a good rate that was the best rate we saw there and another thing again is that they can give you 1200 naira for 1000 sefa like guys just imagine they also have different currencies ranging from 10,000 naira per note, 5,000 naira per note, 2,000 naira per note, 1,000, and then the rest with coins. Stop playing, stop playing, stop playing, stop playing, stop playing. Please do note that the place at which we did our conversion, exchange, and buying of SIM card is just behind the custom and immigration office. So because we stopped at Port Novo, we had to explore Port Novo before heading to Kotonou because that was where we booked our Airbnb accommodation. And the places we we're going to explore or visit here in Port Novo were not that far from this custom office. So we just took bikes. We would have just walked, but because we were still with our luggage, we had to take bikes because that was what we saw here available. So, yes, our first stop was at this very historical place known as Museum Homer Palace Royal. I don't know if I pronounced it well, but yeah, it's a museum that was former home to 25 generations of kings. So, it's a royal place. We toured this place and we were also told the historical stories and we saw so many historical monuments because this place has existed for over 200 years, guys. So, I created a video like personally just for this place and it's coming up after this video so you do want to check it out okay these are the five kings that live here before the new kings are living in town according to what i heard make sure you like share subscribe okay okay oh please oh subscribe like oh <laughs> so when we're done we decided to visit another place that's very popular and it was on our itinerary list and that is the port novo grand mox is what it looks like this mox is a very old mox i think there's a story behind this mox but I don't really know for now. I have to do my research about it. But just because we wanted to take photos, we had to look for these mocks <laughs> and, you know, create content here because this mock signifies so much. If you visit Port Novo or visit the Republic and you don't take pictures in these mocks, it's like you've not started. It's just like taking pictures at Freedom Square, the one at Ghana. So, yeah, that's how it feels here. Next on, if you're someone who is interested in visiting Benin Republic or exploring both Port Novo and Cotonou, then this information I'm about to share with you is very, very amazing, okay? I created a travel guide that would help you navigate your way in Benin Republic that is going to guide you on everything you need to know before traveling to Benin Republic, either as a first-time traveler or as just someone who wants to explore Benin Republic on a budget. Emphasis on a budget because this travel guide will help you visit so many places. It's fully packed with a long list of itinerary that will help you explore the republic affordably it has information on accommodations and i say everything you need to know to plan your trip to Benin republic without paying hefty sums of money to travel agencies on instagram to explore Benin republic in just few days okay 
so yeah do well to click on the link in the description box to get yours scoop yours because currently it's on pre-order and it's way cheaper make sure you take advantage of this promo to get yours now okay next on we decided to visit the market at port novo called ojanla we bought some things like soaps and food stuff but i didn't get to show the food stuff part and the reason was because i could not communicate you know the major language spoken in Benin republic is french and we nigerians our major language is english then we have Igbo, house and yoruba so most of the Benin republic people here understand yoruba so now for example now i spoke with this woman we wanted to buy soap from her and she was trying to talk to us and we're not even understanding and she was like she likes my phone she wants to collect it and at first i was thinking she said i should stop recording i stop videoing and give her the phone she wanted to see my phone until she now brought someone that interpreted it that she likes the phone because i'm using apple i be ios but <laughs> next stop we just kept walking down the street market and we saw where they were selling one street food like that and we just decided to check it out luckily enough we saw that it resembled or it looked like one of our nigerian street food and ladies and gentlemen we decided to try it out <laughs> and yes as you can see it's potato and aka bean balls yes fried potato and bean balls that is the nigerian name i don't know what they call it here i was trying to ask her but she was not understanding english yeah Right, and it tastes so nice. That's so good. If you're coming to Port Novo, this is a must try for you. Thank you. <laughs> that is so nice. Very nice. As you saw, my travel partner bought what 100 sefa and I bought what 200 sefa. And I was giving 800 sefa as change, but after giving 1000 sefa, yeah. So while still on the street of Port Novo, we saw this group of people with, um, a masquerade themed gathering i don't even know what was going on we were so like keen to know what was going on because the show itself was just amazing to watch not only was it amazing to watch it was just it was just creating this curiosity in our minds like what is going on what is going on i sure we should not use this avenue to you know try these people's culture to see what it's like because aside from the masquerades with canes they were also dancing there was music there were drums and i wanted to go close but <laughs> i didn't have the mind so i told my male travel partner to just go close and capture whatever is going on and come back and give us the full gist and that is what he did but while we were here we were waiting for our cab because we wanted a cab that or a taxi that would drive us from port novo down to cotonou but this is what they were actually doing and it's called a burial ceremony here in port novo or Benin republic as a whole so yeah <laughs> now this is where the vlog is going to get more little <laughs> But yes, guys, we are now en route from Port Novo to Cotonou. But still here, we are still in Port Novo. Those places, those areas you saw were not the main Port Novo town itself. Remember I said Port Novo is the capital of the Republic. But yeah, we later drove from Port Novo to Cotonou. I think it took about one or two to two hours. I'm going to confirm later. And then we arrived at our accommodation in Cotonou, a place called was it Uja. In my next video, I'm going to be posting our airbnb accommodation tour and everything you need to know about it so guys let me just you there's something i've not told you about something that i held so much till i got to this our apartment so guys we just arrived in the apartment we booked but i'm so tired i'm going to be just later today i look like my first in here you know so who else noticed that i was so uncomfortable and i looked like i just came back from a war <laughs> apart from the fact that i was very tired and we all were very tired because locating this accommodation was not really easy and because of the language barrier it was not funny but guys if you notice i was so uncomfortable because i was having running tummy i don't know whether it was what i ate or it was what i drank so i just had to document it too because if i don't document these hurdles and struggles in traveling it's not yet a complete documented experience okay <laughs> So anyways, later that evening, one of my travel partners who can cook like, cook like Hidabasi cooked for us and this is what we had. Guys, this is the first meal that we are having in this Airbnb because I cannot say this is the first meal we are having in Kotonu. I took one earlier, Akara, and what is that potato that worry my stomach? Although it was nice, it was tasting nice, but my stomach... <clears throat> 
See Hosanna. Ciao. Hi, I don't even know why we are not going to the dining. We have a dining. Really nice. really like our chef. I'm coming, I'm gonna show you our chef. Guys, That's see good. our chef. There's yeah. no way I'll not video. Chef phone! Guys, <laughs> the food is well. <laughs> I said the food is nice. Please, this is our tour guide. Please say hi to the camera. Hello. Please Hello. speak French. Speak French. Mm -hmm. Oui. Oui. <laughs> first meal in Cotonou Shake. Uh, don't tell them already. This is my first meal. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Bye for now.